Welcome back to the Dividend Diplomats YouTube channel. You've got Bert, the Hurt, and you know you're on with Lanny, the Dividend Diplomats. And we're here to talk to you, the community, about three stocks that are hitting the radar as the market has turned south, baby. But before we jump into them, everybody, come on. You know the drill. Tune up that banjo and sweet chin music, that subscribe button. Then you know what? Get up onto the top row. You drop the elbow on that like button. Turn it blue. Everybody, thank you for your support over there. You drop the pin count. You go one, two, three, because we are talking to you today about those three dividend stocks. We are amped up and ready to go, Lanny. Guys, the stock market has dropped over 3% almost in the last few business days in the S&P 500. Obviously, there are so many fears going on right now. You have inflation. You've got the Fed signaling the tapering news. Rates are going up next year. Debt for cost is going to go up. And then we have the new COVID variant. And Bert, correct me if I'm wrong, but Omicron or Omicron variant. Yeah, we're going to go with any of them. That's fine. All we know is it's another COVID variant, another strain that's creating more stresses on the market. So it's kind of the event that we've all been talking about over the last month. Man, we've been excited. We want the market to go down so we can move cash off the sideline into undervalued dividend stocks that are on special. So that moment may finally be here. Over the last few weeks, we pumped out a couple of watch lists. Lanny just put out his December watch list. Before that, I put my watch list out for three stocks we're going to buy. But today we're going to focus once again on three stocks that you hit it perfectly in the intro, Lanny. Haven't seen drops like this in a while, and we need to put on our radar and your radar for the next few weeks. So we've got three hot dividend stocks. One stock even dropped 10% today on November 30th, the timing of this recording. We're recording it at 1130 at night. So we're staying up late to deliver you the dividend stock news. And that's what Burke, the Heart and Lanny bring to the table, baby. But Bert, how do we evaluate these dividend growth stocks to buy right now? As an investor, as a beginner investor, how should they be evaluating stocks that we recommend? Using our stock screener, the famous dividend diplomats, dividend stock screener, PE ratio in the less than the S&P 500, payout ratio less than 60%, history of increasing dividends, and that fourth bonus metric, the dividend yield. So, Lanny, you want to jump right in again, everybody. We're talking no, well, November 30th here, market dropped again. The S&P 500 finished at 4567, well off of the record highs around 4700. So let's get right in, Lanny. Why don't you tell us the first stock on the watch list for us to keep an eye on? Well, obviously, before we jump in, I just want to throw in another little announcement. Dividend oh. investing, we love. We love dividend investing. Bert, give me one of your favorite reasons why you're a dividend investor. It's truly passive. To get dividends, to receive more dividends, receive dividend increases, you don't need to lift a finger. And what about you, Lanny? You know, I would say a lot of that is, yeah, you build your passive income stream. It's probably the other reason why I like dividend investing because it's an easy second source of income for all of those people looking for another source of income. Dividend investing, because you can start with as little as a dollar or $5 on a lot of financial platforms. That's why we recommend dividend investing. Get that second cash flow, that source of passive income going, Bert. Yep, that's exactly right. So that's a great reminder. That's why we're pumped up to be dividend investors, especially on days like this where the market falls and we see stocks falling. The stock screeners found these three companies. I think it's time to dive into here. Lanny, tell us about that first company. All right, the first company, you know, even Bert talked about, it was on his dividend stock watch list because he wants to add more shares to his dividend stock portfolio. This is a stock to buy on his list, but now it's really hitting the radars. Warren Buffett, what were you thinking when you were buying in at the price you did? Because now the price is almost down to $50 for Verizon Communications, ticker symbol VZ. Bert, what's the stock price of Verizon right now? And what's that first dividend stock metric? All right, the stock price is currently 50.27. Their forward average EPS is $5.39. That gives you a low single digit PE ratio of 9.33, well below the market, which is trading in the mid to high 20s, depending on the day you take a look at it. It's excellent. There, why don't you tell us about that payout ratio, Annie? Payout ratio is, it's Mr. 
perfect. It's a perfect payout ratio between that 40 and 60%. It is 47.5% for Verizon communication. That just gave me a chill there, everybody. That's why I had the jerk there. I got a nice chill from the perfect payout ratio. Moving on to the third matrix. <laughs> yeah, they've increased that dividend for 16 consecutive years. They're less than a decade away from being a dividend aristocrat. A company that has increased its dividend for not one, not two, but 25 plus consecutive years. And Verizon's five-year dividend growth rate is 2.11%. You know, not too bad. Obviously, 16 plus years, you know, they're not quite that aristocrat yet. But Bert, wouldn't you argue yeah, that they are well on their way? Yeah, if they they are they are moving and they are grooving towards, and hopefully by the end of the decade, they are going to be that aristocrat. It's funny how like where they're close, but it takes so long for them to get there. Bird just got moving and grooving. So let's just remember that. So yeah. Yeah. That's where I got these moves from, better watch out, everybody. No, it's not. But the dividend yield for Verizon Communications based on this, they pay again that annual dividend of $2.56 or 64 cents per quarter. So at the time of this video, they're over 5% again. They're at 5.09% for Verizon Communications. To give you perspective, I was pumped up when I put them on the watch list because they were closing in on 5%. They're around 4.9% on that watch list. Now they're well over it at 5.1%. So again, just to summarize here, Verizon, 9.33 PE ratio, payout ratio perfect at 47.5. Five-year dividend growth rate of 2.11%. 16 years of increasing dividends and a yield of 5.09%. Next two companies, we talked a lot about Verizon. They, that's old news because we keep bringing them up here. Now let's get a little bit of new school here here and talk about some of these new companies that we necessarily haven't featured on our on our YouTube channel in a while. That second company, Lanny. Bert, I think you need to do the honor because it's in your favorite town. It is. It is a Ohio headquartered. But another Ohio headquartered. That's right. I always forget this company is headquartered in the Buckeye State. That's right. Anyone, anyone takers, you know what? Let's jump right into it. it. Wait, is it Marysville? I think it's Marysville, Ohio. I'm pretty sure. It's near Columbus. That's why Lanny's talking about it. That company is Scott's Miracle Grow, ticker symbol SMG. Excellent company. Lanny, this was the company, correct me if I'm wrong, that dropped 10% in one day, right? Top 10% here on, you know, November 30th, the end of the month, Scott's Miracle Growth, ticker symbol SMG, finished the month at $144.89. To get into that first dividend stock screening metric, the price to earnings ratio, analysts are expecting $9.61 in earnings from this massive, you know, do, DIY, taking care of your yards and your home uh, company here. That Literally, that price to earnings ratio is only 15 times forward earnings, which is yep. very valued for Scott's Miracle Grow. And they took off during the pandemic for that reason. More people were at home. They weren't spending money in different parts of their budgets because you were stuck at home. So they poured a lot of it into improving their yard, improving their lawn, and a lot of the products that Scott's Miracle Grow offers. So even with all that in mind, seeing their sales grow so much over the last year and a half, it's kind of crazy that their PE ratio is only 15 X at this time. Only 15x. Now, to get into that second dividend stock screening metric, the dividend payout ratio, you know, it's very interesting for Scott's Miracle Grow, but we'll only, we'll only look at their dividend because, Bert, they do pay that special dividend every handful of years. Um, but they do pay a, what, a quarterly dividend of, I believe, 66 cents or $2.64 per year. So that payout ratio is like nothing. It's literally 27.47%. Insane. So even with the announcement of a special dividend every once in a while, it's still a very low payout ratio and plenty of room to keep growing and announcing that. Let's talk about that five-year dividend growth rate of 35.54%. Fascinating. Just a small amount, you know, just a casual 35% increase. And they've increased that dividend for 12 plus consecutive years. Got to like Scott's Miracle Grow again, ticker symbol SMG. Now, that bonus metric, that dividend yield, bring it home. What are they looking like when they're crossing third? Their yield is 1.82%. But just to highlight that and bring up the point that Lanny mentioned earlier, it is deceptive here for Scott's Miracle Grow because this is their payout ratio and their yield are based off of their regular recurring dividend. What Lanny was saying was every three to four years, Scott's Miracle Grow also lumps in 
a very large special dividend in there. And we're not talking small dollars too. We're talking amounts that could be two or three times their annual dividend, just get paid out in a big cash thing. So while their yield is 1.82% on a recurring basis, when you factor in the special dividend, it's a little bit higher of an annualized amount. No, I mean, I, yeah, exactly. It's, it's a great combination, a great company to own. I know you and I both own it, but Britt, how has the stock performed so far year to date? Not well, down 27.81% in the last 52 weeks are down 17.77%. So, hey, just to run through the metrics, P ratio 15, payout ratio 27%, five-year dividend growth rate 35%, 12 years increase in that dividend and a 1.82% yield, not factoring in that special dividend. And just to throw this in there, I fact-checked it. I was right. They're headquartered in Marysville, Ohio. So... A good old fact checker, Bird. Not yeah, heard. You know me. So stock number three, this one is going to be a company that's going to be a darling of the infrastructure bill that got passed because they are going to benefit mightily from all of these construction projects. Lanny, who is this third company? You guys, this one is a curveball here. Again, we, we're not going here to talk about the high yielding dividend stocks. We're not here to talk about you know, the nine, 10% yielders, not as many six, 7% yielders. We're not talking about AT&T stock either. So don't you worry. We are talking about Caterpillar, ticker symbol C-A-T. You know, this company, as well as John Deere, they did very well during the construction and build phase from all the homes and the real estate building and selling. Yeah, look at Burt marching down there, just like a Caterpillar. Yeah. Now, <laughs> My daughter does love reading The Very Hungry Caterpillar, though, though, so it is very appropriate. Now, over the last five days, Caterpillar is actually down about 5%. You might think, oh, that's not a lot. Well, you know, their 52-week high, when you actually break it down, is actually closer to $250. But as of this video, they're down over $50 per share at $193.35 per Wild. So, all right, let's know that. Let's go right in and see how they're performing. Metric one PE ratio, their price is 193.35. Ford earnings are 12.31. That's a PE ratio of 15.71. 15 point, another one in the 15 range. You know, again, very, you know, showing signs of significant undervaluation, especially for these massive companies. Now, going into that dividend payout ratio again, which the dividend payout ratio really speaks to the safety of paying the dividend and the, you know, the potential for growing the dividend. So Caterpillar currently pays a dollar ten per quarter per year or per share, and when you annualize that, it's four dollars and forty cents. That dividend payout ratio is low as well. It is only thirty five point seven four percent. So right there with Scott's miracle grow. Yeah, and they're five. Moving to that third metric, their five year dividend growth rate is six point nine two percent, and they are an aristocrat. First one on this list that's an aristocrat, they've increased that dividend for 27 plus consecutive years. You know, a dividend aristocrat increasing that dividend year after year after year after year. I know Bird loves the bobblehead movements there. It's getting but late. The head's not bobbling right now. Doing it at a 7% growth rate, so solid. I mean, so consistent. But Bert, that bonus metric, I always like to see you bring this one home. What are they yielding at right now? And how is it going to compare to Scott's mirror? Well, it is 2.28%. So their standard dividend, it is one, it is higher, obviously, than the 1.82%. But if you factor in Scott Miracle Growth special dividend, you kind of annualize it out over the four-month period, they're probably pretty much in line. That would be my my spitballing estimate. So to summarize here, the caterpillar, P ratio 15.71, payout ratio 35%. Five-year dividend growth rate, 6.92%. Years of increasing dividend, 27 plus, and a yield of 2.28%. I mean, three great companies, Lanny. I have no, nothing more to say. They're all showing great signs of undervaluation. The metrics for each one of these look fantastic. Stock market's down. Are these three dividend stocks to buy right now? We want to know from you guys, again, Verizon, P ratio that was below 10, payout ratio below 50%, a yield above 5% with a 16 plus year streak of growing their dividend. Scott's miracle grow, a low PE ratio of only 15, a significantly low payout ratio below 
dividend growth for over 12 plus years with special dividends, that growth rates double digits max, and the yield that's generous at 1.8%. We just showed you Caterpillar. You'll see it in the chart here. Bert, what are you thinking about these three dividend stocks, brother? Yeah, I mean, I keep growing my Verizon position, so that's always one that's going to be at the top of my chart right now. But I'm going to keep a close eye on Scott's Miracle Grow and Caterpillar, especially if their prices keep falling. Um, I mean, that's all. I mean, there are so many great stocks out there to watch. I have my watch list. You have your last watch list. Here's another watch list. The reality is just keep everyone, keep doing your research, keep finding the undervalued dividend stocks that meet your current investing needs and what you want in your strategy. These are three stocks, but there are so many out there that are undervalued and we want you to leave them in the comment section and let us know what stocks you're seeing that are undervalued that we should also be considering because we want your feedback because we want to keep buying undervalued stocks, even if they're not the three that are on this list. So let us know in the feedback, what stocks did you buy when the stock market just hit the fan this week, you know, on Monday and Tuesday due to, again, the facets of the Fed, Omicron, and the inflation. We want to know what you guys have been doing in the stock market. Are you putting money to work? For any other final pieces you want to send these guys off with? Let's keep investing, everybody. But I think it's time, everyone. Let us know again, comment section. Just keep investing, keep putting that money to work. Send us out of here, Lanny. That was Bert the Hurt, and this was Lanny from the Dividend Diplomats. Over and out.